What's up guys, Supercharged iOS here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install XBMC and other popular apps onto the Amazon Fire TV. Now, as you can see on the screen, these are some of the apps that I installed on my Fire TV, and installing them was really simple, so let's get started. Just scroll down to settings, scroll over to system, and then you'll find developer options. Click on that. And you may not see both of these options in the beginning, but make sure that you do enable the ADB debugging. Make sure that's turned on. And if you do see the other one, then go ahead and enable it also. Make sure that they're both turned on. But either way, it's most important that you do turn on ADB debugging. And then you wanna go into your network settings and locate the IP address. It's the second one from the top under SSID Netgear. Right below that, the 192, copy that down. And then you're pretty much done with the Amazon Fire TV. Let's just double check really quick and make sure that we have the ADB debugging turned on. Now just go ahead and unplug the Fire TV from the power and plug it right back in to reboot it. And now we're on the computer. You can use your Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter. Visit my website, techsmartdeals.com forward slash downloads. Link will be in the description below. And scroll down, number seven is Mac, number eight is Windows. Go ahead and download this ADB Fire app. Both of these will be zip files, so when you download them on Windows, it's the .exe file that you need to launch. And on Mac, obviously all you'll have is the app, so that's all you have to do is launch it. And once you get the ADB Fire, which is the Amazon Fire TV tool downloaded, just go ahead and launch it. And when you first launch the Fire tool, you'll get this pop-up message asking you if you want to download the version 1.12. Just click on no. Enter your IP address right here. And then click on connect. Now it's important that your Fire TV and your computer both be on the same network. So go ahead and double check that now. Make sure they're both on the same network. Now just give it a few seconds and as you can see we're connected. Now the next thing you do is download your APKs or Android apps that you want to install. So I have a link in the description to the XBMC website. You can go ahead and download XBMC. At the time of this video 13.2 Gotham is the most stable version. And all you have to do is locate your downloaded file. Just click to the location that you downloaded it to. It'll be in your downloads folder and just go to it. You'll see a pop-up window asking you if you want to install this APK. Just click on yes. Just like that, wait a few seconds and as simple as that. And if you want to install another APK, just click on install APK once again. And I really recommend that you install Dropbox because with Dropbox, you'll be able to install many other apps. So definitely get that installed. All right, once all your apps have been installed, you can go ahead and close the Amazon Fire TV tool. Now let's go back to our Fire TV and scroll down to settings. And then scroll over to applications then click on manage all installed apps and here's all the apps that I have currently installed and that's the one we just installed XBMC so let's go ahead and launch it and as you can see it's the first run And this is the reason you're seeing all this different add-ons and configurations is because this is the way XBMC was set up last time before I uninstalled it. So it's just backed up my settings and reinstalled them the same way it was before. And live TV and everything like that, streaming of all sorts works wonderful on the Amazon Fire TV. And this tool makes it really easy for Windows and Mac users especially to install XBMC and other third-party apps on the Amazon Fire TV. And you can just go ahead and leave that ADB debugging turned on all the time so that you'll easily be able to connect to your Fire TV in the future.
All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This video showed you how to install XBMC and other third-party apps onto the Amazon Fire TV using your Windows or Mac computer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Also, check out my channel for more cool and helpful videos. And don't forget to like and follow at Charged iOS on Facebook and Twitter. And remember to check out my website, techsmartdeals.com. Links for all this will be in the description just below. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.